Welcome back and congratulations on finishing Unit 4. You only have a couple of units left, so it's time to start organizing your notes for the final exam. In Unit 4, we learned about business process, decision support systems, and competitive advantage, and how each plays a major role in the success of an organization. Without the integration of technology and business processes, organizations would not be able to maintain their competitive advantage. You also learned about ERP systems and how they can connect an entire organization through a centralized database. In Unit 5, you will learn about the process to develop new software applications, understand the difference between software development methodologies, differentiate between the different types of programming languages, study the major phases in mobile application and website development, and identify four primary implementation policies. In this unit, you will learn about several different software methodologies that involve different groups of people in an organization. The system development lifecycle, rapid application development, and the lean methodology are just some of the methods you will learn in detail. The SDLC is a development methodology created in the 1960s that several software development teams still use today. This methodology is used to manage large software projects associated with corporate systems running on a mainframe. The rapid application development model is a software development methodology focused on quickly building a working model of software, getting feedback from users, and using that feedback to update the working model. This methodology consists of four phases, which include requirements planning, user design, construction, and cutover. Agile methodologies are a group of methodologies that utilize incremental changes with a focus on quality and attention to detail. Each increment is released over a specific period of time. Lastly, the Lean model focuses on taking an idea and developing a minimum viable product. This MVP is a working software application with just enough functionality to demonstrate the idea behind the entire project. You will also learn some history about the different generations of programming languages and how they have evolved over time. Programming languages are artificial languages that provide a way for computer programmers to create structured code to communicate logic in a format that can be executed by computer hardware. Essentially, the code developed by the programmer tells the hardware what function to perform. You will learn the difference between compiled and interpreted programming languages and procedural versus object-oriented code. Make sure you're following all of the unit instructions, visiting each resource, and taking notes. You're very close to the final exam. Good luck on Unit 5, and we'll see you here again before Unit 6.